<laughs> so, uh, if you're anything like me, with the exception of the past few weeks, you've probably never heard the term alt-right before. And I'll have to be perfectly honest with my viewers here, up until today, I didn't actually know for sure what alt-right actually was. What I do know is that the uh, that the Trump banning from Breitbart and uh, apparently lots of other uh, alternative uh, news sites like Infowars and Drudge Report and Zero Hedge and all these people uh, that are trying to tell America the truth after the mainstream media has all come out and said they were lying about everything during the election. Uh, we've had no choice but to go to these sites to try to get the real truth because the mainstream media is lying by their own admission and now they're all getting thrown in with the alt-right. And apparently anybody in bed with the alt-right is a racist. Now, I'm going to jump into this in a minute here. And I didn't want to put this video on my page because it may very well earn me a strike. But I think it's important that you guys see the, the most just incredible load of crap that they're feeding the American people. And people are eating this up by the billions and they're buying into it. This is the video from uh, the CNN website and it's called What is Alt-Right? And obviously I clicked on it, even though we know we can't really trust them. I was kind of curious to try to find out what the origins of alt-right actually was. Now, before I continue and jump into this thing, I want to remind y'all of some stuff. Because there are uh, racial things going on in this country. First of all, there was this whole thing with the Black Lives Matter movement. And if you didn't go along with the whole Black Lives Matter thing... You got punished. Just like the University of Houston student body president said on a tweet that said, forget Black Lives Matter, it's more like All Lives Matter. And she got suspended from school and was told she had to take some kind of cultural inclusion classes or something like that. And then she had to go and speak about the stuff that she was being brainwashed with once she was done in order to avoid expulsion from school. Not to mention also in the... Uh, city of Houston, there was actually the only incident that I've heard of of a White Lives Matter rally. And with very, very little information about who the people were that were actually there or what they were actually promoting, the main, the media there in Houston basically said it was just a bunch of racist white people who are part of the KKK and hating niggers. And I only use that word to stress how grossly these things are getting slanted. Now don't get me wrong, they may be right. That particular incident, it could have been a bunch of racist people. I don't know those people. They didn't put very much information in the article at all for anybody to make an informed opinion. But the fact that they would throw out those accusations without presenting any evidence whatsoever, like the liberals often do, is quite disturbing. Right? And now we've been hearing about all these people getting the day off from colleges because Hillary Clinton lost the presidential race, right? And now, on the other side of the coin, that just was reported on the Next News Network today that an eight-year-old student was spanked and sent home from an Alabama school for writing Donald Trump on the chalkboard. So apparently, writing the president's name on a chalkboard in school is racist. But if you're sad because Hillary Clinton lost the election, you get a day off from school. So you gotta wonder how long it's going to be before they disband the president's names from all textbooks in America because they are, in fact, racist. So, they've been trying to create some racial division in this community for a while and we've all been trying to expose it uh alex jones and many many others i just mentioned him because he's brought this up a lot that george soros and his cronies with the media are trying to start a race war in this country and i think we've all kind of come together 
in our community to wake people up to this fact and to actually try to prevent it. Well, as you can see right here, their very first clip about this racist alt-right begins with an Infowars clip. Very interesting indeed. This is what CNN says alt-right is, which means you, me, and everybody else that runs in our circles, even if you're not white, this is you. Check this out. A lottery. We just stole America back. Loud, assertive, often shocking, and never apologetic. The alt-right movement has been hugely energized by the election of Donald Trump. It's now time for the return of men. Alt-right stands for alternative right, and it refers to people who think traditional political conservatives are too timid, too tame, too accepting of the status quo, unwilling to engage on comfortable topics like what they call racism against white people. And that happens all the time to white people in black neighborhoods. They don't just get uncomfortable, they get screamed at. What the f*** are you doing in this neighborhood? Get out of here! But the fact is, there's a demographic struggle going on. And it's real, and I think we should be real about it. That's Richard Spencer, who coined the term alt-right. In a fate worse than death. His website features a slick video urging white people to defend America against multiculturalism. It's a country for everyone, and thus a country for no one. It's a country in which we ourselves have become strangers. The Breitbart website, which has been tied to the alt-right movement, suggests alt-right adherents are most mostly white, mostly male, middle American radicals who are unapologetically embracing a new identity politic. And you don't need to say any more because the rest of it's the same crap that you've already been hearing. But as you can see, the main thing that this mainstream media is trying to push is that anybody that's in our circles that is trying to get the truth and is trying to stop the government from doing horrible things is a racist white person that voted for Donald Trump. So if you're black, Hispanic, Asian, or any other nation, and you are against corruption in the government, you've just become an honorary racist white dude. Hooray! Or a white chick. Sorry, don't mean to be sexist there, girls. Don't want to leave y'all out. So this is what they're pushing to America. Anybody who wants to stop this, uh, this, uh, this bogus uh, globalist agenda, new world order, occult, crap and wants to put some uh, constitutionalism uh, and back in order in this nation so people can just live their normal lives without having to be bombarded by all this ridiculous stuff. We're all just a bunch of racist white people. So this is the false narrative that they are pushing. So if anybody asks you if you're all right, you make sure and you tell them hell no. Then, of course, they could be twisting the meaning of alt-right, and they could be twisting the meaning of what this dude said. It is CNN, after all, but if they are, in fact, telling the truth, because he's one of the guys whose, suspender, uh, whose Twitter accounts got purged. And if these are his actual views, uh, his, his, his account can stick on forever, because uh, trying to get people to stay apart uh, and live just with their own people is stupid. <laughs> it, it, it's absurd. And uh, so anyways, this is what the mainstream media is pushing. This is why people are protesting Trump hotels. This is why Trump's name is coming off buildings everywhere. This is why children are getting spanked at schools for writing the president's name on the chalkboard. Because this is what the mainstream media is telling you. If you believe in an uncorrupt government and you're against evil globalism, you're a white racist. Welcome to the club. Y'all have a nice day.